Pokemon Stadium 2. PlayStation 2. Uh, listen, I, I talked a lot about PlayStation 2 on the way up here. So was... Listen, uh, what was it? Ape Escape? Oh, Pangu. yeah. Pangu. Oh, for sure. Okay. I, th I think about that game sometimes. Uh, but yeah, now we got Tildy going up against Haz. So as soon as we see Tildy get that one in, but getting a couple of strange hits of a drag down neutral. Mm -hmm. So like we've seen like a couple of like odd hitboxes come out. <laughs> Nothing like a, no clean, clean hits yet. No, I think both players are confused, but rightfully so, <laughs> so far. Okay. Interestingly enough, the uh, dynamics I talked about also works the other way. If Falco does miss with the offense, Carrie has a pretty good response as well. So now we see Tilde sort of putting the brakes on. You oh. know what? That's good. You should just opt for lasers sometimes, especially at that position, because what is Haas supposed to do? Slowly walk and shield and lock themselves into shield stun? Well, are they going to commit to a jump? Mm -hmm. um, it's just a really good, you know, low commitment option to get out of there. That down air into back air, almost killing. Can't help but question the DI just a little tiny bit, yeah. but you know what? Has still holding on to it. Yeah, it was good enough DI to survive a little while longer, but I'm very surprised to see the sparks there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's a worst case scenario, I think, but staying composed, quick response, two to two. Love to see it. Quickly cleaning it up, gets the grounded power wave, not like, uh, you know, distant enough for you to be able to convert it off of it in any meaningful way. Um, up. I like that, uh, just grabbing the regular get up. It's pretty sweet. A lot of damage from it, too. 81 and counting. Ooh. When Tildy goes for that, it's so scary because that has like a suspicious amount of like shield stun, right. like the late hitbox you can do stuff with, the grounded hitbox. If it spikes you, you basically dead in that position. Whenever Tildy goes for those, it is the scariest thing ever. Yeah, the sour spot is still fine. There's no complaints when you land that move. Speaking of which, power dive also pretty good in that situation. Ooh, gotta good make movement. sure that your SDI is on deck for the jab jab power dunks. True, true. Always. Okay, good parry as well. And another power dunk just catching Tilde jumping in. It's a pretty good match. I Jeez. love the fact that that gave us kill sparks Gross. and then came absolutely nowhere close to being able to kill. <laughs> but you know what? The preemptive side B is going to be able to get the stock. And now, as a result, has with a stock lead up against Tilde. Okay. Pass with even stocks up against Tilde. Last stock, though, is definitely a lot closer than I thought it would be, if um, I'm being honest. It's turning into quite the match for round two of pools. And really good spacing on the up B, though, too. It's really difficult to try to get that snap with Terry sometimes, but has had the spacing on point. Tilde tries to get the reset by landing with the up air, but a little bit too slow on the execution. I mean, I know like this is like Tilde's like first single match of the day, basically, but uh, he is like dropping his execution in some of these places and not getting his full damage output. Right, right. Definitely need to tighten Never that mind. up uh, throughout he the day, but <laughs> Never mind, you're right. Even throughout the stock, and of course, Okay. Marie <laughs> on the air dodge. I feel like the biggest fool alive. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to say it, but the one second. I wouldn't argue. No, 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 you can say it. You can say it. No, no, say it. No, no. Say it, bud. I think uh, we'll let the replay speak for uh, all of us. This right here, too, like you said, the down air coming in, charging oh my the smash God. attack. That oh. is such a terrifying position to be in. That was two consecutive drag down forward and resets mm -hmm. on a platform, setting up a juggle on top of a platform and then reading in a neutral air dodge with an up smash. That was so cool. It was sweet. And the grab too, coming in, like, instead of going for the up air, going for the down air, just to reset here. Oh Phenomenal. All right, going into game two on Hollow Bastion. Yep. So once again, uh, Tilde's execution today looking phenomenal. Uh, seems to be like connecting all of his hits, just getting the most out of every single hit. Yes, uh, no mistakes whatsoever. Not the slightest, <laughs> nope. All right, and that forward air has been really good in this match too. Well, we saw the drag downs, but also just as an edge guarding tool, it really puts Terry in a rough spot. And of course the lasers have been phenomenal. Whenever Tilde does need to slow it down, put the pressure on from far away, that recognition Sweet. and going through that shield, recognizing how unsafe on a hit you are, and just knowing, like, hey, I can get a much bigger punish right now if I just shield and anticipate you mashing out of this advantage. That was such a smart option from Tilde, and this is exactly what makes him such a powerful player, already at 70% on his second stock. Yep, this is more what we expected, I think, when the match started. Terry getting stuck in his combo. Oh my. And not find a way out. We saw a very high side B, and that still got punished on the landing, too. Tilde is just all over the place. Exactly where they need to be. Oh, okay. And Tilde really, like, seems like pretty seasoned and comfortable with like some of his follow-ups on the stage, like how he wants to be positioning around the platform, how he wants to be extending off of it. Whenever Tilde or a Falco jumps at you with the back facing towards you, just in place over and over, once again, up to no good behavior. <laughs> no good. 
falling right. back and falling up, and who knows what they're up to. Okay, I like that little mix-up going with the rising tackle, but not going to be it still. And that power bounce also going to get punished. Jeez, bad DI, but mm -hmm. no worries. Still a sizable lead. Okay, but for how long? For how long? <laughs> yeah. You know, I was I was gonna let you like do the talking for the second. Maybe like you wouldn't been able to like coos. So I'm still gonna be two to go on behalf of us. <laughs> right. <laughs> but but it seems like ill luck only like falls onto me today. Uh, but yeah, Tilde gonna be looking for one of those grounded downers again. Gets this. Oh, gets a side beat. Has a good idea with trying to cover the tech in place, uh, but a little bit too slow uh, oh. on the draw. Good spacing around the up tilt from Haas too, but still not a huge opening. Only a couple hits. Tilde's manage sneak out sneak out again. Oh, just stuck. Trying to space out some forward airs and getting beat up for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Totally just waiting a little bit, maybe trying to catch a goal. And what a down smash to cover so many different options. That laser is so, so huge mm -hmm. because now Haas was not able to make it back onto stage, losing all of their aerial momentum. This was an incredible game two for Kill Day. Yeah, I think, like I said, that was definitely more what we expected from game one, but. Maybe there's a little bit of an adjustment period between doubles and singles, the first match of the day and all, but phenomenal stuff, game two. We, we saw pretty much a textbook example of mm -hmm. why that matchup is not particularly good for, for Terry in certain the, situations. The first stock of game number two was actually absurd. I just I just would like yes, everybody yeah. just to see how insane all of this was. This, this shield right here was so, so smart because when you have that much pressure on you, you don't have the time to really decide to yourself, oh, I am going to delay my neutral air to try to make it as safe as possible. Right, because the only thought is I need to get out of this position. I am scrambling. I just need to be able to find a way uh, to get back onto the stage. Um, and wow, Tilde, Tilde's advantage state. The way that he extends his combos and is able to find these resets off of guesses on what the opponent is going to do next is oh. just so good. Yep. And it's so interesting too because so many there's so many characters, so many players. They all play differently. Yep. And to be able to either know or adapt in any situation, mm -hmm. still phenomenal. And we saw just there with Tilde, like, it was a little rough to begin with, but some of the best players have rough game ones and then phenomenal games. Too, it wasn't right? even a rough game one. It was like a, true, true. a slightly shaky stock right, one in right. stock number two. And then stock number three, Tilde just picked up the control and he was like, ah, this is how I do it again. And then he got the most absurd stock number three in game number one. He got the most, you know, insane, like, stock number one in game number two. Yep, yep. It was... It was still day. Yeah, I think we saw a nice little display of 